police tape. <gasps> this game is huge. Echo. <laughs> Echo. Well, let's Echo. explore the cave. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Such a nicely brought up, well meaning young girl. Very polite and all. Oh! <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. That was like a mole driving a car. A race car? <gasps> the party! The hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Live nude hamsters, triple X? I don't know if you're allowed inside, Miss Fortune. Whoa! Whoa hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? That guy's getting robbed! Like you adorable things, you have to kiss and make up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. Pills. Oh, are those mints? Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. N I think it's okay. Oh my god. Oh, you tried it already. Wow. I'm feeling really nice. Well, we couldn't say anything about that. Your four friends, plus a dog. Whoa, she's freaking drooling. <laughs> of a nightmare. Oh, God! Uh, that wasn't a minty refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you alright, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Oh, these are bad hamsters. Look at the bad influence. Oh my God, cooties! Those two hamsters are making out! These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. Oh! Look at them with their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Designated smoking area. Am I drawing from what I see in my house? Oh my gosh, I just noticed that neon flashing sign. Do I have to censor that? <laughs> Excuse me, could a little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you said? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. How about the way we came in through? Not good enough? Oh gosh, get away from that spot of bad influence, Miss Fortune. <gasps> Check that lady out! I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. I was trying to catch him though, but somehow it led to him disappearing. So you're saying if I didn't do anything, then actually he would have been caught? Just out of curiosity. Okay. Hey, miss. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. Okay. There is a suspicious button here. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> a lamp. 
mother found Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. We can go, but I wonder if that lady, the owner of the club, does anything special back here. Maybe not. Oh, that thief. Stealing from old ladies? But then again, an old lady owning a nude strip club? <laughs> oh, is this like not a choice? Is this just more about like, oh, there's more for me to do here. I'll just hang around <laughs> like a little lady. Ah, okay. I thought that was like a consequential thing too. But it's more that, hey, if you want to look around the cave, you can still do so. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better. In that case, I mean, since we're here anyway, I guess we can walk all the way back. Just to make sure. Maybe I can catch the thief. Which would be definitely... Oh! Oh, no. It looks like the entry is blocked. Yeah, I can see that. Now what? Hmm. There must be another way out. Let's look for it. Okay. Ah, so maybe if we... What if we had done this before the robber escaped? Then he wouldn't have been able to escape, right? Benjamin is nowhere to be found. Even though supposedly he would have come this way. By the way, what is this? Alcohol? Drugs? Stop! Oh, 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 bet. Oh, what does it say? Don't come closer. Squirrel speed. Oh no, it is drugs. <gasps> ah, this looks just like a movie I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Ah, look, I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. Aim with up and down, shoot with space. Um, I don't really see any change in my aim. Oh, here we go. Uh, I gotta try the first shot for reference first. Oopsie. <laughs> Tattoo high. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay! <laughs> I actually hit the acorn right on that guy's head, but he didn't care. Maybe they weren't that big of threats. Squirrel spin? Hmm. <laughs> Rune face, the world is mine. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but mommy was really angry about it. Because your dad was making drugs in the basement of the home where they have a kid? Oh, we should take this! That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh yes. no. What makes <laughs> you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Narrator, don't be instilling your own values into other people. Money can buy a lot of happiness despite what people tell you. All right. Oh, she's so pure. She didn't even think of taking the money at all. Not even a single bill. <gasps> Is that me? Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. 
Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> that missing poster. Hey, shoo! Shoo! Look, a missing kid. I mean, it kind of does look like me. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Whoa. Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Did you see that person in the car? They were wearing some kind of mask. Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh that's the missing kid. <gasps> Why are we seeing dead kids everywhere? Ugh, smells like bull crap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poo crap. The world needs a plan. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, so someone stole half a bike? <laughs> why is there only one wheel here? Oh, why do all the adults have masks? Because they're all faceless. We don't really know them. Phantasmagoria, the horror fair. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to Openfield? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> hey, you see that little Twitter plug there? Kill Monday games. Oh! Look! It's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods! <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Hide your children. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Oh, see the one putting up all these hide your children posters? Oh, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't <laughs> mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. That's the thing that's been chasing me. Oh, seeing all these posters actually makes me think that the fox might be good. Like maybe he's doing a bad job. Like he works for the Grim Reaper, but he's trying to keep children away because he realizes it's bad. I guess we're not taking the train today. Fortune. What? Language. Ah, Aren't you like seven or eight? Where'd you even learn that? From your dad, probably. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever oh. after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! 
Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. This is alarming. What the heck is that blue sign? Oh, what the heck? It's been vandalized with the horns. Is that some kind of like folklore that I don't know? It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, uh, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? E yes, I do. It's essential for my education as a future adult of society. Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. This guy. He's the one leading misfortune to death. <gasps> Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. Mmm, it's a seagull though. But I feel like giving away the fish would be pretty in line with the things we've seen so far. The horrible things. It's about generosity and unintended consequences. This fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> what? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now. Of course. Seagulls love eating fish. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. Well, that was definitely like a trap that we stepped right into because we saw it coming. I'll bury him later. Oh, He's still sad. Eh, don't talk to the, the drunk at the sandbox. If we didn't pick up the fish, then we wouldn't have been able to give it to the seagull. But now that we did, we got a skeleton back. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Okay. I'm pretty confused on like what my overall stance on all these choices should be. Should I be trying to save everything and make all the supposedly good choices? Although it's really hard to tell what's supposed to be good or not. Because if we give away the fish to the seagull, that's like showing generosity, but then it makes the fish get killed. I don't know. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. You're gonna get hurt. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey, stop it. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny, and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, kids are used to falling. Ah, uh, no, it's okay, thank you. Hmm. Shake out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could he's be smoking. my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Shh. Oh, oh, I want to see both. I want to see the duck dance too. Ah, okay, I'll do it. Of course, check this out. 
und, und, und. Oh! Oh, it's okay, it's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> Don't talk to the bad dogs. Wait, why are we seeing animals around here now instead of, like, you know, people? Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. No, I can't say no to any of these. Yes, I want to ride. Micah, stop! Ah, I can't hold it anymore! <laughs> <gasps> oh no, misfortune. You laugh. <laughs> That's rude. Oh, but she did too. That's fine then. When the trees are naked. When the trees are naked. <laughs> when the wind is cold. When the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Rotten apples smashes against the stone. Should I be remembering this? Because I honestly forgot what the first poem was already. <laughs> Pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, more of those posters again. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. That's... Okay. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> we can also bury Rodrigo. That's the main goal here, right? So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything probably i mean kids and shoplifting i stole my friend's swiss army knife once i felt so bad i buried it in the yard and never told him oh i'm so sorry for the both of you <laughs> second question are you happy right now i want to say i am well Maybe we should. Yes, I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Mmm... Yeah, sure. Positivity. I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look! We arrived at the pet cemetery. That's such a sad answer. I think she loves me because she hasn't left me yet. Oh, more missing kids. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. What if the narrator was leading these other kids out here too? And that's how this whole thing happened. Check out the statue of the cat. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Whoa, okay. That's got to be the work of the devil. Ah, 
that shovel. Okay. It literally came from the ground. We can't trust this guy. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. Hmm. <laughs> no? Nah. Check them all out first. The goldfish. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> wow. Nah, I don't think this is the fish. If I don't trust the narrator, why should I dig the grave he tells me to dig? I don't know. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Have you ever read an erotic novel, Miss Fortune? Nah, this is obviously a cat. Sounds more like a human, actually. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in Pooh. Ew, yikes forever. It's probably a dog. Nah, I don't think so. Should I just dig up all the graves? Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. The bird ran into the window. No. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? Yeah. I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. <laughs> Bye. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Mmm, that sounds like it could be a fish, but we can keep looking first. Nah, too little information. Yeah, unless if that's the last grave. Where are you going? The graves are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm such a rude little lady. Let's keep digging. Okay, it seems like it's the last one, especially because it's like at the very end by itself like that. But what was this one again? Okay, or... let's Hold little on. Lulu. No. No, I don't think... I wanted to check on the first this one again. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Shouldn't be a fish, right? I, I can't tell. Nah. If I had to guess, it sounds like Mr. Bubbles would be the name of a fish, but that's very arbitrary. It says... Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Okay. Is this the prize? <gasps> but there's only a note. What? Yes, it says... I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. The handwriting's different from before, though. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise Mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, uh, such a letdown. Hmm, the further we get away from home, the later it's gonna be. I'm still getting the impression that the fox is maybe good though. Trying to help me by not letting me be misled by this guy. <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Oh! Come on, Benjamin! Give me back my happiness! Run after him! 
We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin you really disappointed me. Hmm. That's another doll. Oops, <laughs> wrong key. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. I'm an unloved child, right? Although I told the narrator, I am a loved child. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining things. Oh, there are certain things he doesn't know about. Benjamin, where did you go? We should keep our eyes open <gasps> in that case thing, we see that the rocks. Fox. They know how to hide. All right. That's the one from the beginning. Oh, that's going away somewhere. Hold on. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Mm, I don't know about that. That seems like a trap for the fox. What about this, though? This is a portal to that Grim Reaper place, maybe. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what fits the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. The game of death. Is that the game that you've invited me on, narrator? Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Okay. Oh. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. The game of death. I kind of forgot the rest of the words already. <laughs> Uh, we have to go down. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. Everybody wants eternal happiness. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, goodness. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? <gasps> is he gone because we're in the pit? Or is he gone because I took away that stone? I wonder. Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, hey. Is your luck coming back? Oh, uh, damn. I dropped it. Oh, oh you butterfingers, misfortune. Fox repellent. Best, love it, get it now. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Oh, I didn't wanna... I don't wanna use it. Oh, hold on. I was thinking if we could choose, then I didn't wanna take that, but it did it immediately. Hmm. Well, we don't have to use it, right? It looks Hopefully. Like there's somebody else behind us. Hello? Hmm. It looks like there's somebody. Hello? Can we not do anything about that? Yeah, there's no inventory, right? Because I'm actually thinking about that rock I took with me in the beginning here. But, uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that went elsewhere. Ah, oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? Did you see the fox repellent? No. <gasps> Benjamin. Oh. Oh. 
what have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's <gasps> not natural. Uh, he picked me because I'm stupid. Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. How did I end up here? This is pretty far from the cave. Did he really attack me though? He kind of went by me and just pushed me away, right? I don't know. Open, open fields blooded. Open fields is on fire. Local artist GM retires after incident. My son is missing. Oh my god, that's that's me, right? Or no, it was the rain cloud. Trender, bird invasion. We didn't win, but we had fun. Said nobody ever. <laughs> 1993? Let's see what's new. Oh. 1993? That's when this was? Well, the zoo. You know, with the animals? Cool. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. We had Google in 93? I don't think so. Do I need money for the bus? Is that Ikea? <laughs> Is this Sweden? Yeah, I'm just looking at those letters and words too. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. <laughs> he can conjure up shovels from hell. Whoa. There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace <laughs> problem. Uh, let's just keep going then. <laughs> oh no, Miss Fortune. But we know. We know. Hi, you oh. look familiar. What? Another missing kid. Missing. Wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very <laughs> Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. No, I think you kidnapped her too. People and their masks. Is that trying to say something like adults are fake? Alcohol is a tool for relaxed communication. Alcohol is not a solution. Too much alcohol destroy your body. Ah, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their juice. That's why your mom drinks so much of it at home. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hacks strangers by the dumpster. Oh is no. That so? Mm-hmm. How are you even allowed in here? It's a liquor store. Oh, I worry about her family upbringing. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Return it. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. Miss Fortune wouldn't steal a wallet. 
You're welcome. Mm. Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? I don't know. The winner takes it all. Must be funny. Oh! 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 Ah, uh, no win. Maybe next time. Well, I was never the most fortunate of girls. <gasps> Happy face. It says, let's face it. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. What the heck kind of store is this? Is it just normal for people to be wearing masks in this town or is it more of a metaphorical thing? Oh my goodness. That Look, doll. Even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. George is here too, from the party. Oh my god. The next one is me. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. There's some kind of walkie-talkie thing too. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. And that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> but you still love him, don't you? <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. <laughs> ah, they learn a lot of things back at school. Hey, hello? Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. Did you get an explanation? <laughs> no, we're not gonna sit down just yet. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so what? I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it. Maybe you need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. That's super old. <laughs> Kids under 15 don't have to pay. What country is this? I want to move there. Is it Sweden? Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Those ladies' masks Check are cracked. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Kids don't really hide their emotions. Hey, the bus driver doesn't have a mask. Get happy face. Free of regrets, self-doubt. Harm. <sighs> this bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> You're really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. Kiri? There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. Where is Kiri? Kiri could be a lot of different things, though. Oh, Fog? That's so cute. 
cute. <laughs> Ew. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. Run for your life, little baby cow. Did you see that baby cow? Oh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Wow, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. Oh but no, I no, no, no. Got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. I'm not so... Oh, misfortune. <gasps> A wolf. Can I pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait Probably not. and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Whatever happened in the cave earlier, it was not according to what this narrator wanted. Why though? Because I didn't spray the fox with a repellent? I'm trying to figure that out so I can piss him off even more. Huh, they know about the missing children here. They do. Hold up. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Scared me. I was like, why did that guy suddenly start walking? Okay, this is breakable like like with a rock or something like oh like a stone Hmm. I think I came up with an idea. What if? Um, Let's tell a lie. Let's not break it. We have a stone, but we don't have to break things. Tell a lie so he believes it. A lie, Miss Fortune. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I mean, that's the only way to get inside. Trust me. All right, let's go. I feel like it's better than breaking the place, but who knows? Hey, remember? What? Phantasmagoria. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. We saw the poster before. Hello? Excuse me, there's one of the missing children at the bus stop. I just saw her. You may want to go and check it out. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Nice lie. Yes, it worked. Yeah, that's better than breaking a window, right? But who knows, really. <laughs> 